been exciting on the ball, he's done some good things. Villagazi, look at that impudence, just with the outside of the boot, that's brilliant play, and the referee, well, there could be drama here. They're urging... Many football fans have come out in praise of Atenko Simqaba following his horrific tackle on Jabulani Mukone in the Carling Cup final. The Stellenbosch FC player was given his marching orders following his martial arts-like tackle on his Carling All-Stars opponent, who was fortunate not to have suffered a serious injury. Mkaba immediately showed remorse for his brutal assault on a fellow professional, with the All-Stars bench ready to attack him for the challenge. This saw Mkaba being applauded for supposedly showing remorse immediately after temporarily injuring Mokone. You know, amid all the praise for him, this tackle is unacceptable and was clearly premeditated. Had he ended Mokone's career with it, was remorse going to be enough? There was absolutely no justification whatsoever for his brute being that high on a soccer field and his apology cannot wash away the initial intent. This is someone's career, you know. It's a red card. It's a straight red. He hasn't shown the yellow. So, Aten Korsi Mkaba becomes the fifth Stellenbosch player to be sent off this season. Well, that has made the, what was turning out to be a bad afternoon infinitely worse. Is this a red card offense? Well, it's not a nice challenge. It's certainly a yellow. Should it have been a red? I don't know. The referee has made yet another interesting decision. Taba goes down the tunnel and Stellies have to come back now from 2-0 down with 10 men. Cliff Galaxy were leading by two goals in at half time. Melende reduces that deficit by half and Zungu is the latest man. Oh, straight! Ironically, the one person who should have showed this kind of remorse is Bongani Zungu. The Mamelodi Sundowns player broke TS Galaxy's Bernard Parker's leg in the same competition late last year. His tackle, at worst, was reckless and at the very least, unintentional. To this day, many football fans are trying to figure out Zungu's antics following the horrific incident. It took several days for him to apologize to Parker and even then, it was allegedly through social media. Disgraceful.